Falcha. Hello and welcome to Keith's Whiskey Vlog. In this video we are going to do a little whiskey tasting for you and I'm going to be tasting this little number for you. It's uh, Smokehead. Anyone who knows a decent amount about Scottish whiskey will have heard of Smokehead. It's not obviously, there's not a distillery called Smokehead. It's from the Ian McLeod Distillers Company. Now they're an independent bottler, but I think they are involved in a couple of distilleries. Tam Du up on Speyside, uh, Glen Goyne, which is a sort of Highland, but Lowland Highland, but it's a Highland distillery, uh, not too far north of Glasgow. Um, the first time I was aware of Ian McLeod, the, the company, it was a whiskey I tried. It was called, I think, As We Get It, and it was 60 plus percent. And I do remember the, the headache the next morning, whether that was the amount of whiskey I had or whether it was the as we get it, I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, they make this one here. So we're going to taste the Smokehead for you. So Smokehead, as you can see, this is just a miniature. I did have a, a bottle of it a few years ago. My uh, my brother was kind enough, I think it was my birthday one year. It was the first time I tried it. He bought me a bottle of Smokehead, nice packaging and uh, this is really for anyone who is in whiskey terms a smokehead generally if you like your isla whiskies your peaty smoky uh, mucky earthy slap in the face lafroig art bag things like octomore from brucolade anything in that ballpark this is going to be right up your street now there are other smokeheads this is the, the sort of the classic sort of a standard just isla single malt scotch whiskey smokehead 43% this one comes in um, they have one called the Sherry Bomb totally coincidentally I was out just last week for a little whiskey pub call well sorry whiskey research I should say with my brother and I had a Smokehead Sherry Bomb for the first time and uh, the Sherry Bomb is 48% uh, they've also got a Smokehead High Voltage which is 58% and I believe there's also another expression called extra rare, which I think is some sort of travel retail exclusive as well. So Smokehead, it's a classic. It comes from a mystery Isla distillery. So it is a single malt, so it's one single distillery. As always, there's speculation. Usually Isla whiskies which come from mystery distilleries are from Kalila, which is just simply the biggest volume producer of single malt. But the, the rumours with this are a little bit more interesting. Uh, how well founded they are, who knows. It is a mystery distillery, it's not disclosed at all. But the suspicion is it comes from one of the southern Isla distilleries. Um, maybe Lagavulin. Now, they're never going to deny that association, excuse me. <coughs> um, Lagavulin, um, one of the sort of premium, elegant Scottish whiskies. But the suspicion is, it sounds to me that it's got a bit more uh, validity to the rumour, is that this might come from Ard Beg. So, uh, previous times I've drank it and didn't know that. Obviously, I've looked into it for this video. So, uh, it's got a bit more colour than your standard Ard Begs, just looking at it. But we'll see. Maybe they've added a little bit of colour. I don't think it says. So, Give you a quick read of the bottle, it's not really the full bottle, it's just a miniature. Distilled and bottled in Scotland, Ian McLeod Distillers Limited, 43%, 5CL, this bottle. Peat, intensity, spice and sweetness. Smokehead Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, 43%. So, let's have a little taste. Now this particular bottle, um, the vast majority of whiskies that I taste for you on this channel, I have bought myself, but I do like to let you know if they're complimentary or where I got them from or anything. Now, I work my day job as a tour guide, and one of the lovely perks of being a tour guide is that if you do a good job, if you give people a good tour, a good experience, then they can be quite generous at the end of the tour, usually in cash form, but on whisky tours, you'll generally come by a little bit of whiskey. So I was recently up on Speyside, the most sort of concentrated whiskey region in Scotland. And when I was up there, I had a good little tour, um, just six people, nice and cosy, and uh, a couple of guys from Liverpool. Hello, Matt. Hello, Ron. If you are watching, and at the end of the tour, 
Ron was very generous and gave me this little sample of Smokehead. He said, have you uh, reviewed that on your channel? I said, no. He says, is it worth reviewing? I said, yeah, of course, all whiskies are worth reviewing. He says, well, there you go, there's a little miniature, so. Much appreciated, Ron, and true to my word, here we go on my channel. So, Smokehead. Let's taste it for you. Oh, it's going to be a good night tonight. We'll do the nose. We'll do the taste neat. Then we'll do the taste with water. And then off camera, I will just neck the rest. Now this comes in at around about sort of 35 pound a bottle. It's a decent price for a single malt, non-edge statement. I say smokehead. Um, again, national stereotypes, there's always exceptions. In the main, smoky, peaty, Isla whiskies are very popular in Scandinavia and in Germany, especially in Germany. And I've heard that this is sort of, it's marketed towards maybe sort of younger whiskey drinkers or people who like their Isla whiskies, quite popular amongst German visitors that come across. So it's not too, it's not as maybe in your face as you might expect. It's quite bold, there's a lot there. There's a bit of strength. It's not the alcohol strength, but you, you do get a bit of smokiness, but there's a, a good bit of sweetness. And it, uh, it's, it has got a bit of smoothness. It's got that vanilla about it as well. I know that Ron that gave me this, uh, he did try Smokehead when he was up. I'm not sure what he thought about it. Tell me in the comments, Ron, again, if you're watching. There's a little bit of that saltiness, that sort of brininess, that fresh sea air about it, I would say. There's almost just a, it's hard to see, a, a light plasticky rubberiness about it as well. Not a bad way, just now, it's quite, quite fresh. So yeah, so a bit of vanilla, a bit of smoke, a bit of sea air. Just a little bit of orange I'm getting at the top there as well. Okay. So that's on the nose, now for the mouth. All the smoke that's missing in the nose comes in. So that's actually disappeared quite quick. An initial big hit, it sort of washes down and then evaporates. So not as sweet in the mouth. That initial hit, there's not much after, there's not much linger. There's wisps of smoke still remaining. So it's it's quite a quite an intense initial. Still got a bit of sweetness behind there. A little bit of orange. Not getting as much of the fresh sea air. You're now sort of stuck in a, a shed with a sort of peat fire burning, a little bit of dampness, mustiness almost a little bit of turf, so earthy, smoky, green grass. Utterly lacking in sophistication, not a bad thing. I'm not after sophistication 95% of the time. And after that, a smash in the face. So it's not quite a smash in the face. It's a bit more of a push. But, uh, yeah, yeah, nice. Doesn't give you too much. Gives you just about enough of what you're looking for if you are a smokehead. You're not gonna be disappointed, but you're not gonna be enraptured either. So we'll give it a little bit of water. See where we go. This could unleash the beast. Hopefully it does. So it's a non-edge statement. As I say, it's got a bit of colour. That lack of depth and sophistication. I'm guessing it's quite young. I'm guessing it's being masked with the colour. I'd almost go as far, and this is completely unfounded, I'd go as far as to say that 
uh, this was so light in colour because it was so young and unsophisticated they probably had to add the caramel to it just to give it that uh, just to give it that air of age I suppose it's, a, it's, it's funny how clean it is now it's cleaner on the nose talked about the sea air we were talking about more brine you know when you, you get a tin of tuna so it's not it's not fishy it's a little bit oily a little bit briny a little bit sort of more sort of, that's sort of not a thick not in a like melting road summer's day but a little bit of tar as well just a little bit A little bit more smoke after the water on the nose, just a little bit. Much more mellow in the mouth. That smoke's really been brought down. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it would still be there. So quite a decent sized pour, a, a good double there. A little bit of water and it's really mellowed it right down. Again, it's almost quite watery now I would say it's like like I've really watered it down you saw how much I put in it's not without smoke it's still there people who don't like Isla whiskies probably still won't like this it's not bad it's not giving me too much it's not it's not tickling me. It's not rubbing me. It's not massaging me. It's not. Uh, it's not. It's not. It's not. In, it's not a, an encompassing experience. It's at the front. It gives you a bit of smoke. Smoke head, especially with the skull on the bottle. You're expecting to be challenged. Your life to be in danger. Maybe nowhere near that. Decent. Okay. Decent slash okay. Um, not bad, not great. That's what it is. It's a non-age statement, Isla. Um, it's got a bit of smoke about it. I will drink it all. I'll not be pouring it away. Once again, cheers to you, Ron. Matt as well, if you're watching. Hopefully we'll see you again at some point. We can maybe even raise a little glass of Smokehead and uh, maybe see you in the Isla tour. Who knows? Everybody else, thank you for watching. Drink whiskey. And we'll see you in other videos. Slanjaba. Cheers.